Hey there, this is Andrew bringing you another Keyforge deck reveal and review. This time we're going to be going over another Mass Mutation print and play deck from FFG. This, uh, I'll have a link in the description to where you can pick these up if you are interested. They're also uh, very easy to get going in Tabletop Simulator. And this one is going to be Cyclonium Chamber Agent. It is Dece, Logos, and Shadows. So we're going um, rare to rare to uncommon, the, the reverse of how we normally do. So uh, we'll start off with Lyco Thief. This is a three power mutant and thief with elusive and skirmish. This is in the sort of like a <clears throat> variant card set up. So uh, there's like Lyco, Sacro, Demo, at least that I know of. And there's one in Sarian, there's definitely one in Logos, and I guess there's this in Shadows. Uh, this is essentially, um, oh, what's his name? Creature I didn't love in, uh, in Age of Ascension, but that's okay. Um, yeah, just three power, Mutant Thief with Elusive and Skirmish. Mole is an upgrade with a bonus amber, and it gives a creature your opponent may spend amber on this creature as if it were in their pool. That is really interesting. And it means that you can potentially use the amber off of, uh, off of an opponent's, you know, sorry creature, say, without, without having to kill that creature. Um, this solves some interesting problems. It's a really interesting card. So I'm glad to see that. And I don't think it's overpowered. Like most of the time it's just an amber pip and it's fine. But sometimes it'll be pretty good. Safe House is an artifact with a bonus amber. It's a location and it has action archive a friendly creature from play. If you have creatures with good play effect, this is insane. Reckless Rizzo is a one power elf thief with elusive and action sealed to amber. Until the start of your next turn, Reckless Rizzo loses elusive. Um, that's a strong ability to fire. You know, if you it has elusive and then you fire it once and then it's probably going to die, but um, getting to steal two is pretty good. So that seems strong. Uh, mm -hmm. Miasma Bomb is, well, it does what you'd think. It, prevent, it makes the opponent wait a turn to forge, but um, it's an artifact version. It, uh, it has enhanced damage icon, so it'll put a, a single damage icon on some card somewhere in here. And uh, it has action, destroy it, and your opponent skips the forge a key step during their next turn. This is interesting. I'm going to say, in general, this is lower power than Miasma, but that's okay. Miasma was really powerful. Um, it's lower power than Miasma for a few reasons. For one thing, because you can't combo it with phase shift or things like that. Um, and play it on Logos turn. For another thing, uh, you know, you can't use it the turn you have it, which means you can't like stash it in your archives. You need to get it on the board and it's going to sit there and it might be used by remote access or poltergeist or something like that. So, uh, yeah, so there are potential problems. But it's still strong, so not, not complaining. Tempting Offer is an action with a bonus amber, and in this case it got a damage icon as well. It enhances with a capture icon, and when you play it, you return an enemy creature to its owner's hand, and if you do, your opponent gains an amber. Um, so it's a good way to clear a creature off the board, and uh, maybe give your opponent an amber to, that you can steal if that's the situation you're in that you need to do that. Um, ultimately, I think I'd rather have Lights Out. I think I would, but it's an interesting card. Subtle Auto is a one power mutant thief. With play, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. So, um, it's a creature version of, of, uh, Subtle Chain. Continuing the subtle theme, because subtle mall also makes your opponent discard. Next we have Rad Penny. This is a one power mutant thief 
with Play Steel One, which is so so strong. And destroyed Shuffle Rad Penny into your deck. Uh, that is strong. So when this gets destroyed, it gets shuffled back, so you can steal more later. Um, these some of them auto maybe, but especially Rad Penny, really really good targets for safe house. Play it, archive it, get the effect again next Shadow's turn. This other copy of Rad Penny even has a draw icon. So uh, you, when you play it, you draw a card, then you steal one, and when it's destroyed, it'll be shuffled into your deck, or you can just archive it right away. It's crazy. <clears throat> Look over there is an action that deals two damage to a creature, and if it's not destroyed, you steal an amber. That's pretty good. There's two of those here. So it is um, sort of like... Uh, well, it's another variation on the theme of like Relentless Whispers, right? Nerve Blast says steal one if you do, do two damage. Relentless Whispers has the bonus icon and then says do two damage if you do kill something, steal two. This steals, or steal one. This steals one if you didn't kill something. Dark Wave is an action with a bonus amber that says deal two damage to each non-mutant creature. Um, so like a poison wave that just doesn't hit mutants. And here, so this is interesting. Umberbot is, uh, we're getting into lowest territory here, but this is in the same category, like I said, with like Lyco Thief. So there's probably an Umbra Saurus, I guess, as well, and an Umbra Thief. Maybe an Umbra Thief? I don't know. But one of the things this suggests to me is that there must be, like, maybe there's an actual creature coming up at some point called Lyco. Maybe there's an actual creature called, um, called Demo. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure exactly how this works, but um, I'm very intrigued. So Umberbot is a three power mutant scientist with elusive and reap discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. That's that's actually a pretty good effect. Skippy Time Hog is a one power mutant with play your opponent cannot use any cards during their next turn. It's a pretty strong effect. Mind Over Matter is an action with play, put each creature into its owner's archives. Wow. That's like a, it's the Logos version of Hysteria. That's crazy. Nero Siphon is an action with a bonus amber, and this one ended up with a draw icon on it too, which makes it pretty strong. And it says, play if your opponent has more amber than you, steal one and draw a card. So potentially this turns into a three amber swing, right, because you gain two, your opponent loses one, and two card draws. But even if you're unlucky, you still get an amber and a card draw. Mutagenic Serum is an artifact with a bonus amber, and it has Omni destroy it. You may use friendly mutant creatures this turn. Cronus is a three power mutant with two draw uh, enhance icons. And it says, after you resolve a draw bonus icon, you may archive a card. That's pretty cool. Then we have standardized testing. I think we have two, yeah, two copies of that. Standardized testing destroys each creature with the lowest power and each creature with the highest power. It's a fun one. Qmex is a one power robot with play draw a card and destroyed Archive Qmex. There's two of those in here. Between this and the Rad Pennies, it, there's a lot of, like, just getting these cards back time and time again, which is, yeah, pretty uh, pretty powerful. Effervescent Principle is an action that says play. Each player loses half their amber, rounding down the loss. Gain one chain. Good amber control there. Eclectic Inquiry is an action with... A, and I think Effervescent Principle does better when it's comboed with other Amber Control, and in this case we have good Amber Control in Shadows, so it's a pretty good combo. Eclectic Inquiry is an action with a bonus Amber, and in this case it ended up with a damage icon as well. When you play it, you archive the top two cards of your deck. Wrath is a three power demon and sin with uh, three armor. 
And by the way, they confirmed on in the uh, in the AMA they did recently that there are there are the seven sins, and they are going to work like plague rats. So basically, with plague rats, they were all the same. But if you got one, you were guaranteed to get somewhere but from three to seven, and it works the same here. Uh, if you want to get a sin in your deck, you're going to get at least three. They synergize with each other. You're going to get at least three, and you can possibly get all seven. So Wrath is a three-power demon and sin with three armor. Has taunt, poison, skirmish. Uh, fight for each friendly sin creature and rage an enemy creature. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty strong. Um, this I killed right away <laughs> when my opponent played it. Pride is, uh, is four power and has reap ward each friendly sin creature. Envy is three power and elusive, and if there are two or more friendly sin creatures, you capture all of your opponent's amber. That's pretty strong when it reaps. Desire is a three power. Uh, it makes keys cost plus four. But when it reaps, you forge a key at current cost, reducing one amber for each friendly sin creature. So if you have all four out, then you're forging at current cost after it reaps. Um, if you have seven out, you're forging at minus three costs in total, which is pretty good. Double Doom is an action. Uh, this one, it doesn't usually have any bonus icons, but this one got a capture icon on it. And when you play it, you return an enemy creature to its owner's hand. And then your opponent discards a random card from their hand. So you could potentially make them discard that creature. Um, but, you know, you don't count on it. Uh, break key is pretty good. It's an action with a bonus amber. It really is a better version of, uh, of key hammer. It says play if your opponent has more forged keys than you. Unforge an opponent's key. If you, un if you unforge an opponent's key this way, your opponent gains 6 amber. So, uh, it works like key hammer, but it doesn't have that possible downside of just giving your opponent free amber. So, that's pretty good. It does have, it does have its own downside that you have to be behind for it to work. Implosion is an action with a bonus amber. It says destroy a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Got two of those. That one's a common. We got Gateway to Dece. It's back. That's an action that says destroy each creature, gain three chains. That's strong. Dark Minion is a one power mutant with enhance. Uh, it enhances with a damage icon. And it says destroyed, deal one damage to each enemy creature. We have two of those. And then lastly, Bone Saw is a five power demon. This one ended up with a damage icon on it. And it says if a friendly creature was destroyed this turn, Bone Saw enters play ready. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, so that is that. That is Cyclonium Chamber Agent. <clears throat> uh, this deck, out of the four, um, you know, you take Pilot Skill out of the mix, this seems to be. Uh, well, this this one is undefeated, so it's beat. Um, it's beat two of the other decks, and uh, one of the ones that it beat beat that that third other deck. So it seems like it's pretty good. I think the Rad Pennies really boost it. I'm, I feel like Shadows is kind of back a little bit compared to Worlds Collide. I felt Shadows dropped off. I feel like they're kind of back. Um, this Logos definitely doesn't seem as powerful as Worlds Collide, but it seems good. Um, it's fun. And, uh, and the Deeth is, uh, exciting. I'm, I'm really excited to try out this Deeth stuff more. Well, that is that. That was Cyclonium Chamber Agent. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, that you will forge some keys.